What's up everyone, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to use Claude AI to build a website. So here on Claude you're going to come over to style, select concise, and then you're going to put in the description of the type of site you want. So here we have our prompt, I want to create a personal portfolio website, I want sections for about me, my work, with placeholders for image galleries of course, and contact. The design should be modern and minimalistic with a responsive layout for mobile devices, right? So that's pretty much standard and we can go ahead and send this prompt. As you can see, it's currently working out our website. We just need to wait for the results to complete. And it's currently going through the CSS part of the website. We just need to wait for it. But you can see how hard it's working for us and we just need to wait for this to happen, right? Now at this point, it's actually done creating our website and what we'll need to do is to go over to the top left area of this section of the page where you can see the code and if it's not done it automatically for you, you can just simply click on the eye icon because currently it's in the coding area. Click on it and there you have your website, your name, hello, I'm your name and you can see some details and it's quite responsive, right? If we scroll down, you can see something good here, right? So you can of course change everything you want here by providing other prompts, but we're satisfied with this and it's looking really nice. And it's currently rendering what seems to be in the mobile view if we try to expand this. Great, you can see now you have about, work, contact. Now, of course, you might want to put in your name here and so it's more personalized. Hello, I'm, then you have your name, right? So let's try to see ways in which we can do this. Of course, you could go over to the code by clicking in the code right there and trying to locate where you can have an edit right here on Claude. We're going to scroll down to find it. This is currently the CSS aspect of things. So we're going to keep scrolling down and right here you have your name. Now, even though we've selected it, we cannot change it. We can, of course, copy it. When we click on the drop down, you can download this as HTML, of course, and then put it into your code compiler or editor. However, we could try this out. We could ask Claude if they could change the name to our name. So here it says, can you edit your name and replace it with Peter on the website? So let's see if that will work. And as you can see, it's currently making edits and there you have Peter, right? It has it at the top area right there. And I guess we'll be waiting for it to change it everywhere else. So here you can see, hello, I'm Peter. And it keeps making these changes and providing a brief preview along the way. So here it says, perfect. I've updated all instances of your name to Peter throughout the website. Page title, Peter, navigation logo, Peter, hero section, hello, I'm Peter, and the footer, of course, all of that. So here we have Peter and hello, Peter, and that's really great. So you can, of course, copy this and put it into your compiler and make more edits to it, or you can continue making your edits right here in Claude. This might include changing the background from this color to a partial silhouette of your face if you have an image, etc. And then here, of course, you want to put a portrait of you, etc. And then your work, project image gallery, project image gallery of the different works you've done before. Great, so now we've been able to show you how you can use Claude AI to build a website. Thanks for watching.